Today we are going to take our very first first class flight. We will be flying Emirates first class on the upper deck of the iconic Airbus A380. Our flight route today takes us from Sydney, Australia to beautiful Christchurch in the South Island of New Zealand. With a distance of just 1,300 miles, we will share our complete experience, starting with our private suite, the in-flight service and even the shower on board. Lastly, as always, we will show you the exact way we booked this flight using points for just $180. Okay, so today is the day. As you can see, we're super excited. I even got dressed up for this. Amazing. I can't wait to share more about this. We head into the departures area at Sydney International, where the Emirates second lines are virtually empty. Bye bye bags. <laughs> Normally, if you think we are taking Emirates, we'd be going to Dubai, right? But actually, we're just going to Christchurch. And that's thanks to this Emirates fifth freedom flight to Christchurch. We swiftly pass through security to head to our first. Where are we going to first? More specifically, the First Class Launch, which is exclusive to First Class passengers of Qantas and its partner airlines, as well as Platinum Frequent Flight. Our flight is here and it's on time. This launch is beautifully designed and deserves its own video. Inside the ceilings are high and well lit, giving it a very spacious feeling. Most importantly, there are plenty of windows for plane spotting. There are a variety of seating spaces and the food is table service based on an a la carte menu. Here is a quick look at the menu for the day and you can pause it if you want to take a closer look. There is a live kitchen and a bar area where the food is made to order and our pancakes arrive rather swiftly. You got the same thing as me. The launch features a spa facility offering complimentary treatments, however. No appointments for spa. In addition to the spa, the launch offers multiple shower facilities, perfect for freshening up after a long flight. Lastly, on the other side, there are meeting rooms and workspaces available. And another one of these. These seem to be everywhere. <laughs> With our flight steadily moving up the departure list, it's time for a lounge hopping. Launch hopping? Where to next? Emirates Lounge. The Emirates Lounge is located at the far end of the terminal, next to the Emirates Gate. Which I guess makes sense. Yes, this is our plane for today. This space is noticeably quieter than the Qantas launch and also features a variety of seating options. It's more of a self serve, so not like a a la carte like the Qantas one. While the food may not be a la carte, there are still some good options here along with a self service drink station. Hi. The flight information display is noticeably a step down here compared to those mechanical ones found in the Qantas launch. Not a bad spot. Lastly, this launch also features shower facilities. With that, we decide to head nice and early to our gate for boarding. Alright, here we go, here we go, here we go. We got too excited and we are here like too early, like there's no one here at the gate. Hey look, our flight is there, right at the back, right there. We have been extremely lucky to try a few premium products, but this is our first time flying first class and we were honestly super excited for it. This is happening, this is, this is actually happening. Look at that. We have a dual bridge, so we're going straight to the upper deck. Morning. Hi. Hi. Oh, sir, we are in 3K today, Mr. Yes. Emirates A380s use the upper deck for their first and business class. Here, there are 14 seats in total, arranged in a 1 2 1 layout. We are in seats 3K and 4K for this flight. Behind the first class cabin, there is a large business class cabin consisting of 76 seats. And right at the end, we have the Emirates bar, but more on this later. Upon boarding, we are greeted by the lovely crew, who escort us to our suite. I'll be right back with you. Thank you. Here's an overall look at the Emirates first class suite. It really does feel luxurious with the leather seating and the gold trims. 
About the seats, they are plush leather and quite wide at 23 inches. The headrest can be adjustable for comfort, and of course the legroom is large with 86 inch seat pitch. Everything can be controlled by these buttons here. I guess we'll play with these later. And to the right of the seat, we have what is possibly the coolest feature of the seat, the motorized personal minibar. This is our minibar. In front of us, we have a giant 32-inch LCD touchscreen. That TV screen is almost as big as my monitor at home. Oh, we've got like a mirror and a small amenity kit. This is the wellness kit, which has some basic essentials, and we'll be giving away one of these to our lucky subscribers. And here we have a little book and a pen. Also in the same panel is the wall socket and the USB outlet. The seat features three lights, including this dimmable table light, the reading light, and an adjustable spotlight. In-flight service begins with a welcome drink. This is followed by the hot devil service, which accompanies the Arabic coffee and the dates. Let's switch back to the seat as we have so much to cover here. We have a second small screen which serves as a dual purpose. Change to viewing whatever you want. It has different things running here. So this thing comes out. You can use it to do many things. On top of being the second screen, it can be used to control almost anything with the seat, as well as the lights, shades, and the door. <laughs> Lastly, to the right, we have some additional storage spaces. You can give us a mattress topper, even though we're not gonna be sleeping on this two-hour flight. One of the striking aspects of this seat is just how private it is. We had to try really hard to see each other or anyone during the flight. Hello! If you're a window person, rows 2 and 3 are probably the better ones, as they come with Not 1, not 2, 3 windows. The flight begins to push back about 30 minutes late. But we didn't mind the delay at all. Emirates A380s feature three in flight cameras, which give us great views during takeoff and landing. Look at this peak Sydney traffic. We followed a Cathay Pacific Airbus A350 down the taxiway to reach runway 34 left. The front view, the tail view to choose from. I like the tail view. And shortly after that, we were on our way to Christchurch. During the climb out of Sydney, we are treated to nice views from the belly camera. That's where we were, just there. At this time, we are heading into the sea towards New Zealand. Immediately after takeoff, we are provided with the menu book, which also contains the drinks list. So it's time to open up the tray table in anticipation of the breakfast service. The table is massive and can probably double up as a headrest. I get my seat ready into the dining position and go through my new reading material to decide what I want to have for breakfast. It must be noted that Emirates makes this menu available a few weeks prior to departure on their website. Not only that, you can actually get a preview of your seat prior to seat selection there as well. Breakfast begins with a generous serving of fruits which are accompanied by some bread in a well-presented table setting. This was followed by the mains. I went for the scrambled eggs, while Shweta opted for the omelette, which was served with chicken sausages. Both options were pretty good meals, although nothing exciting here to say it's really first class. With the meal service done and out of the way, it was time to close the door and put on our headphones to watch something on the TV. 
The headphones provided are from Bowers and Wilkins and they are really high quality. The in-flight entertainment selection is extensive and there is even a seat to seat calling feature. As we fiddle with this, the person knocks on my door to tell us that it's now time for the best perk of this flight. Hi, I'm gonna go have a shower, right? Okay, See you. Bye. For reference, the two showers are located at the front of the upper deck next to the stairs. We are in the shower and this is probably this is the biggest toilet on the plane. There's the sink. I don't think I need this many towels. Big mirror. Also, a hair dryer. A coat hanger. And in case you're wondering what this is. It's insane just how big the space is and there are actually two of them on this aircraft. I am provided with the tray of amenities to use in the shower. So on top of all those amenities over there, you can also get this bag, this bag. Yes, this is the men's Bulgari amenity kit that comes with all the essentials that you would need. And Shweta got the women's kit which looks similar to this. I've been waiting for the moment for the last 7 years and I guess today is the day. So let's go. Shower. So I get only five minutes of running time, and then once you go to buy, just press this button. And there we go. So you see the level starting to come down. It's super high. The shower has a seat and a handle in case there is turbulence while you're in here. Oh no! That's the end. I guess all good things must come to an end. But that was epic. I return back to my seat to find a sweet box left behind for me. As we approached the west coast of New Zealand, there was still one thing left for me to do. So I walk past the business class cabin to the back of the plane where I find myself standing in the Emirates spot. So this is the in-flight bar. So have a seat here if you want to enjoy your meal. It was a larger space than I imagined and I was rather surprised by how quiet it was. The crew at the back here were probably the most friendly on the plane and they took some nice Polaroids as memories for us. This is such a nice touch for my crew. I think I'm going to remember this for a very long time. With that, the short 3 hour flight is almost over and it's time to open the curtains, return the seat to the landing position and open the doors. As the snow capped southern alps of New Zealand emerge into our horizon, along with its beautiful bright rivers, it's time to recap this flight. Emirates A380 is no doubt the best way to cross the Tasman currently, and in first class it is the ultimate luxurious experience. Considering it was just a 3 hour flight, we were honestly overwhelmed by all the features of the flight. This was a nice sampler into how the other 1% travel, and things like the closing door and the shower were great to experience. However, most of the time we would probably not be able to justify the upgrade for this short flight. So in short, if you haven't tried first class before, this route is definitely a lower cost option worth considering. But otherwise, you might want to save your money or points for a longer route. Bye bye Emirates first class. Okay, so that was it. What did you think? Um, that didn't feel like 3 hours. <laughs> went very fast. That, was, that felt like 30 minutes for me. Emirates has a co-chair partnership with Qantas and so we use Qantas points to book this flight. 
and it ended up costing us 64,500 points plus 182 Australian dollars. At the time of recording this video, Emirates seems to be releasing award space in their first cabin about 4 weeks prior to departure. We hope you found this video useful and entertaining. We look forward to taking you on another travel adventure very soon. Until then, please consider subscribing to our channel and watching some of our other videos.